Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we will learn about and understand the transition distance of a conveyor belt. In the upcoming slides, we will cover this topic in detail. Next, we will learn and understand the transition distance of the conveyor. The transition distance of a conveyor belt is defined as the distance from the center line of the first fully troughed idler roll to the center line of the terminal pulley, which can be either the head pulley or the tail pulley. Please refer to the accompanying pictures for clarification. Please refer to the pictures. Transition distance is the distance from the center line of the first fully troughed idler roll to the center line of the terminal pulley, either the head pulley or tail pulley. There are two most common transition profile types, full trough and half trough. The full trough is typically found on the tail pulley side. The half trough is generally located on the head pulley side. Next, we will learn and understand the purpose of the transition distance in the conveyor belt. The transition distance indicates the length over which the conveyor belt changes from a flat profile to a trough profile, or vice versa. Specifically, it is the distance over which the belt transitions from a flat configuration at the tail or head pulley to the fully troughed configuration, supported by troughing idlers. This distance is crucial for accommodating the natural curvature of the belt as it adjusts to different profiles. The transition distance is typically calculated based on the belt width, troughing angle, and type of belt used. Proper calculation is essential to ensure that the belt transitions smoothly without excessive stress or bending. This is particularly important for maintaining the belt's structural integrity and preventing spillage of materials. Next, we will learn and understand the purpose of the transition distance in the conveyor belt. Transition idlers are positioned at either end of the conveyor, adjacent to the head and tail pulleys. A gradual change is required over a specific length, known as the transition distance. This is important because it helps distribute the stresses that occur during the change in belt shape. If the transition is too abrupt, it can result in excessive stress on the belt material, leading to potential damage such as tearing or premature wear. The number of transition idlers used depends on the trough angle of the conveyor. For example, with a 45 degree trough angle, two or three transition idler sets are typically installed at each end of the conveyor. These sets have incrementally greater trough angles, such as 15, 20, and 35 degrees leading up to the final 45 degree angle. For good practice, a 20 degree troughing idler is commonly placed ahead of a 35 degree troughing idler, and both a 20 degree and a 35 degree idler are positioned in front of a 45 degree idler. Next, we will discuss how to calculate the transition distance of the conveyor. The following tables provide guidance on the proper transition length based on the system idler angle and the percentage of rated belt tension. To find the minimum recommended transition distance, multiply the belt width by the transition distance factor from the table. Please refer to the full trough transition table which is useful for calculating the transition distance of the tail pulley side. Next, we will calculate the sample example as follows. A fabric belt with an idler angle of 45 degree, belt width of 0.8 meters and belt tension is assumed 85%. To calculate the transition length or distance. The formula to calculate the transition distance is. Transition distance is equals to the belt width multiplied by the factor. Transition distance is equals to 0.8 into 3.2. Therefore. The obtained minimum recommended transition distance is 2.56 meters. Next, we will calculate the sample example as follows. A steel cord belt with an idler angle of 45 degree, belt width of 0.8 meters and a belt tension is assumed 
To calculate the transition length or distance. The formula to calculate the transition distance is. Transition distance is equals to the belt width multiplied by the factor. Transition distance is equals to 0.8 into 6.4. Therefore, the obtained minimum recommended transition distance is 5.12 meters. Next, we will discuss how to calculate the transition distance of the conveyor. The following tables provide guidance on the proper transition length based on the system idler angle and the percentage of rated belt tension. To find the minimum recommended transition distance, multiply the belt width by the transition distance factor from the table. Please refer to the half trough transition table which is useful for calculating the transition distance of the head pulley side. Next, we will calculate the sample example as follows. A fabric belt with an idler angle of 45 degree, belt width of 0.8 meters and belt tension is assumed 85%. To calculate the transition length or distance. The formula to calculate the transition distance is. Transition distance is equals to the belt width multiplied by the factor. Transition length is equals to 0.8 multiplied by 1.6. Therefore, the obtained minimum recommended transition distance is 1.28 meters. Next, we will calculate the sample example as follows. A steel cord belt with an idler angle of 45 degree, belt width of 0.8 meters and belt tension is assumed 85%. To calculate the transition length or distance. The formula to calculate the transition distance is. Transition distance is equals to the belt width multiplied by the factor. Transition length is equals to 0.8 multiplied by 3.2. Therefore, the obtained minimum recommended transition distance is 2.56 meters. We hope everyone understands the transition distance and purpose of the transition distance and how to calculate the transition distance. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Please like and leave a comment.